Ashton Public School for my practicum, and I fell in love with this school for its commitment to deep learning and the growth mindset, but also for the tightly knit community that it created, and one that I was fortunate enough to become a part of. During my time there, I had collaborated two grade seven classes and a supply teacher to work on an inquiry-based unit on the residential school system in Canada. They started out by creating an I Wonder wall that we returned to at the end of the unit. I think what led me to exploring this unit was that throughout my personal educational journey, I truly felt and still feel that this is a lesser known part of Canadian history that needs to be talked about and shared. Aboriginal history and issues are, after all, a part of our shared Canadian history. With that notion, teaching about the IRS was memorable for me because students were able to start to see the inequalities and inequities that are still present in the education system and in health services for Aboriginal people. As a class, we explored the differences between stereotypes, prejudice, and discrimination and how this pathway of thinking may have brought about this discriminatory school system. Students explored a historical timeline that included pre-contact until now. As a class, we also explored deeper issues such as the impacts of this system, as well as the tragedy that the IRS brought to Aboriginal peoples of Canada, who are still experiencing the effects. Students were able to comprehend and think critically about how Aboriginal groups in Canada have experienced a true sense of loss on several levels, including a loss of their lands, communities, families, culture, and a sense of identity. Hello! So, I just want to know why you think that studying residential schools is vital for your education? That's a good question. See, when you're born, you're born without an understanding. Then as you grow older, you learn several things. There have been several events such as residential schools, which is actually quite recent. Several of residential schools' consequences can be still seen today. The last one closed down in 1996, which was only 20 years ago. Very very recent. Nowadays, Aboriginal schools have underfunding and don't have projectors, computers, heating, several important things for children's education. And for our health. Yes. Yeah. Students have the chance to talk about what truth and reconciliation means for them and to think of ways that they can continue to take action. Now that you know, what will you do? So what is Have a Heart Day and why is it important? Well, Have a Heart Day takes place on Parliament Hill, where schools and groups of people gather and they talk about how Aboriginals are getting less funding for their schools than us. As Michael here said earlier, some of, some of them don't have projectors and proper heating. Mm -hmm. And like, why, why should they get less funding than, than us? We're not more human than them. The same as us. The supply teacher and I facilitated the Project of Heart activity to which students decorated tiles to represent a survivor or someone who died at a residential school. They explained their tiles to us. I wrote words that the children have been through because they've been stolen and took them from all of their homes and took, put into residential school. It's been a really big change for them. So what does your symbol mean? This is mm -hmm. family. So this is Aboriginal symbol for family Okay. because they lost their families. This is for rain because I think that it represents the tears. This is for camp because the school was kind of like a campground. Mm. And then this is smoke because some of them started to smoke after school. Okay, some of the impacts. Great. And what did you choose to draw? I chose to draw a turtle because in Aboriginal... Um, used to draw that because it represents collaboration. This unit was a great way to allow for deeper learning surrounding Aboriginal issues.
students were able to make connections to their lives and their education and compare it to the experiences that residential school students had to endure. I would love to do another project like this in the future, hopefully every year. What I really encouraged the students to take away from this unit was two things. First, like Justice Murray Sinclair had said, reconciliation is not an Aboriginal problem, it is a Canadian problem. It involves all of us, and that actions speak louder than words. These two notions are important because we all have a role in our communities and in our countries to take part in social justice actions. More importantly, it is our responsibility as educators to ensure that discrimination ceases to occur and that students are well educated on these issues so that they too can take action and can be inclusive, active citizens of Canada. Tattoo, 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 tattoo.